Holy cow, this was depressing. You know those militant vegans that try to do everything in the power to turn other people vegan? Well, Ed Winters, I think Ed is one of them, and he released a book. And also for the record, I just want to say that Ed Winter is amazing. He is such an inspirational human being, he's so amazing, and I look up to him a lot. I mean, he's one of the reasons that I keep staying vegan, because I love watching his debates on YouTube and whatnot. This is vegan propaganda and other lies the meat industry tells you. The title is pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, I think this book is gonna contain a lot of arguments against the meat industry and the dairy industry. Why? A vegan diet and a vegan lifestyle is the best thing for the earth and for you. Probably know like everything that's already in this book, but it's still gonna be interesting because because I want to support Earthling Ed. This book is about 300 pages, and yeah, I like the cover. I really like it's like this uh, World War Two vibes with this propaganda style kind of cover. It's very clever. I like it. And I can't wait to be cracking on with this book. So yeah, let's read. I also want to point out that Ed Winters is not a militant vegan. I think the work he does for the animals is so inspiring. Two hundred and twenty million land animals are killed for food every day. Every day, it's horrible. I'm gonna cry. Oh, twenty-eight thousand to seventy-three thousand animals are killed every second. Can you imagine? Like one, two, three. That's like one hundred thousand animals killed. So I have read 100 pages of this book and uh, the first 100 pages is horrible. Uh, it's pure trauma for both the animals and me. So basically Ed goes through like all the ways uh, the animals are being tortured in slaughterhouses. That makes me very uneasy I, because I like, I know basically that the pigs are dying in gas chambers and being suffocated but it's just like the way it's written, you know? so yesterday when I was lying in bed reading, I cried a lot this is so horrible it's not common for pigs to still be alive when they enter the scalding tank meaning they drown in extremely hot water <laughs> gas chambers <sighs> this is so sad <laughs> Holy moly. I'm gonna have nightmares from this book. I swear. It was horrible. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, it's very powerful. Like, I mean, it's the bloody truth. Like, literally. And it makes people uneasy. Like, many people just close their eyes from what is happening. People don't want to know. They don't want to justify the choices of eating meat. And that's just... It's horrible. But, I mean, still we're living in a time where veganism is being expanded. I mean, I live in Sweden and we have so many vegan restaurants here and we have Oatly. We got all the good stuff. I'm gonna continue reading this book. This is pure horror. I mean, this is worse than the troop and uh, that is saying something. I'm gonna continue reading this uh, and hopefully now the worst part is done. So, yeah. I am done! This is vegan propaganda, more like this will scar Amanda forever. The first 100 pages were pretty awful. Um, Ed talks about the farming industry, how the animals are killed and tortured, and it was pretty disgusting, you know? I watched Earthlings and all those documentaries, and uh, they're pretty graphic. And uh, this book is pretty graphic too. But I still think this is a very powerful book, and one should read it. It got me thinking, like, I got all this 
memories back from when I was a child. I remember that my family took me to a slaughterhouse. Uh, I was like, I don't know, four or five years, six years maybe. And I just remember that there was a piglet lying on the floor, dead. I was like, oh, there's a piglet. And then it was dead. My whole childhood was traumatized because of that. You know, you get a point, like you're five years old and you're not supposed to see that. But it's still kind of planted a seed in my brain that like animals, they are sentient beings and uh, we are eating them. Why are we eating them? It's like eating a cat or a dog, you know? I mean, it's still the same kind of life. I mean, we're all living, we are still feeling and uh, we do feel pain. We do feel fear. It doesn't matter if it's a pig or a cow or a sheep or a whale, you know? I remember in biology in high school we were watching this documentary about dolphins in Asia somewhere. Uh, they were killing the dolphins for the meat and like the whole class just agreed that this is bad. This is really bad. Like uh, I will not support this. This is so bad but they kind of were hypocrites right because they were still eating meat but they still thought dolphin slaughter is bad i mean it's the same thing basically anyhow the last 100 pages of this book it talks about infectious diseases also and the pandemic we are living in and stuff like that i do believe that in 10 20 years we are going to see something much bigger than this than the virus we have been experiencing the last two years. I mean, this is just the beginning. I mean, if we still continue to raise animals in farms, I mean, we're going to see this like forever until we die from an infectious disease. It also talks about the benefits of being vegan uh, for the body, you know, and how you can reduce certain uh, certain diseases like stroke and Alzheimer's and stuff like that. Kind of like how not to die. Right? Also it talks about how to approach other people, family and friends. I'm still glad that I read it because this was a powerful book. I didn't think I could get more vegan than this, but I was wrong. Overall, I think Ed Winters did a pretty good job on debunking the meat industry and the dairy industry and the fish industry and everything, you know? This man is amazing. This book gets 5 stars, first 100 pages, Sartre's last 100 pages angry tears. That's basically just sums up this book in my eyes. We need to become vegan to save the world, to save the animals, and save ourselves. So, read it, enjoy it, and subscribe.